Dear friends, we're gathered together here in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Philip and Nicole in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us to be in relationship with one another and with God himself. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and in his sacrificial love, he gave us the example of the love of husband and wife. Philip and Nicole come to give themselves to one another in this most holy covenant. I charge you both, as you stand in the presence of God, to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy home, that the solemn vows you are about to make are kept faithfully, and if you steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your Father in heaven, your lives will be full of joy and the home you establish will abide in peace. No other ties are more tender and no other vows are more sacred than those you now assume. So Philip, I ask you to declare your intent. Will you have Nicole to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others be faithful to her for as long as you both shall live? If so, will you answer by saying, I will? I will. Nicole, will you have Philip to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to him for as long as you both shall live if so will you answer by saying i will i will who presents this woman to be married to this man tyler her mother and myself All the way back at the beginning of creation when God created and he said everything was so good and he created man and said that it was good that man existed. It then says in Genesis he looked down and he saw that man was alone. And of all the things in creation that he spoke of he said that was not good. We are created to be in relationship. And so he created woman to be there together that together they might be completed with one another and there might be joy and there might be fulfillment. And when that happened he said behold it is very good. And we come today seeing how God has taken two people and once more takes two their individuals and separate and makes them one in a way that we can't fully understand. It's a mystical union that we celebrate today. prayer for you as a community is that God will really richly bless you with grace and your love for each other will continue to grow. It is so evident and abundant now, but that it will continue to grow to overflow the bounds of the cup of your marriage to bless those around you. And that it will continue throughout your lives. That all who come to know you will see you and say, that is the marriage that we want to have. It's a joy to see that kind of love bubbling up. What we celebrate seeing in the two of you today is the very best we have to offer here, and we're excited about that. And we pray that over the years that are to come, that it'll become deeper and richer and more special to you and all those around you, that it'll become something that is treasured in the years to come. That's what good love does. It gets better. This is a great day, but it's just one day. We pray that the best will come after this day and continue to be better throughout your lives.
But the kind of love God's talking about is a special kind of love. It's not something we're to try to get to someday. It's the way we're supposed to treat each other. So this is the instruction for all of us, and especially for you today. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, and it is not easily angered. And it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, and it always hopes. It always perseveres. Love never fails. It comes time for the big moment of the vows. You ready? Ready. Repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Philip, take you, Nicole. I, Philip, take you, Nicole. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death us do part. Until death do us part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Nicole, take you, Philip. I, Nicole, take you, Philip. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Philip and Nicole, you have declared your consent and vows before God and this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Now that Nicole and Philip have given themselves to each other with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. And now it is my very great privilege to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Philip Croft. Philip, you may kiss your bride. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
It's all about me and you It's all about you and I It's all about me and you